not impossible to go through a season unbeaten, and I can't see why it's shocking to say that. Arsene Wenger's words, two years prior, proved prophetic when his team achieved an extraordinary feat during the 2003-04 Premier League season. They became the Invincibles, a moniker reserved for teams that accomplished the remarkable, going an entire league campaign undefeated. But just how exactly did they do it? Stay tuned to find out. Let's kick it off. Arsene Wenger's journey from managing in France to Japan is a story of hard work and new ideas. His managerial career started out a dud at AS Nancy in 1987, which led him to AS Monaco in 1988. At Monaco, Wenger was able to find some team success and even uncovering a young French footballer by the name of Thierry Henry. After leaving Monaco in 1995, he moved to Japan to coach Nagoya Grampus 8, a team struggling in the J-League and owned by Toyota. His focus wasn't just on winning games right away, but on building a strong foundation. Wenger's short time in Japan changed both him and the team. He taught the players to focus on their skills, eat better, and make smart decisions during games. This approach helped the team win the Emperor's Cup and set the groundwork for what Wenger would later implement at Arsenal. Even though he wasn't in Japan for long, his influence was huge, winning him the J-League Manager of the Year award and mastering his coaching philosophies that he employed with his groundbreaking work at Arsenal. Arsene Wenger really changed the game at Arsenal and the way football was played in England. He had a knack for finding and developing young players. Stars like Golo Torre and Nicolas Anelka became big names with Wenger's help. He was also great at finding hidden gems like Mark Overmars and Dennis Bergkamp, turning them into the heart of Arsenal's success. Wenger was smart about who he brought into the team. He picked up players like Jens Lehmann and Cesc Fabregas for relatively modest transfer fees and turned them into stars. Fabregas, grabbed at just 16, grew into a top midfielder thanks to Wenger's influence. The unbeaten team of the 2003-04 season, the Invincible showed off Wenger's strategy. Smooth play, quick passes, and attacking together. This style not only kept them unbeaten for a season, but also made them the team everyone hated to love because of their enjoyable play. Wenger's move to field a team entirely of foreign players highlighted his focus on skill and a worldwide search for talent, setting a trend in the Premier League. During Arsenal's unbeatable season, their defence was a fortress, with stars like Lauren Colatore, Sol Campbell and Ashley Cole. These guys made sure almost nothing got past them. Lauren and Cole, playing as outside backs, were lightning fast, helping both in defense and in pushing the ball up for attacks. They made the team wider, opening up space that created more chances and offense. In the middle, Torre and Campbell were a dream team. Torre's quickness and Campbell's muscle stopped many attacks in their tracks, letting Arsenal keep a tight defense while still playing aggressively on the field. Their teamwork meant Arsenal could snatch the ball back quickly and go on the attack. Jens Lemon, the goalie, was crucial too. He was like an extra defender, ready to rush out and stop the ball. Plus, he was great with his feet and used his passing ability to lead the attack from the back. He didn't miss a single game that season, always there to keep the goal safe. The way these defenders worked together with Lemon was key to Arsenal's success. They were solid at the back, but also skilled at joining in on attacks, showing just how flexible and dynamic the team was. But what good is a top defense if you can't control possession? Arsenal had two midfield heroes, Gilberto Silva and Patrick Vieira, who showed just how important a strong midfield is in football. Silva, from Brazil, switched from defense to become a top defensive midfielder. His teamwork with Vieira, who was more of a box-to-box -box type of midfielder, was key to Arsenal not losing a game in the 2003-04 Premier League season. Silva was the linchpin of the midfield, sitting deeper and covering defensively, which allowed Vieira to roam and create dangerous opportunities without having to worry about defending as much. Their partnership was a perfect example of Arsene Wenger's plan for a midfield that could defend solidly and attack with ease. Together, they made the teams play flexible and smart, proving that being clever on the field and working hard can lead to great things. 
Silva's journey from a simple start in Brazil to making impacts for his club and country shows how sticking to discipline, pushing through tough times, and always thinking of the team can bring success. Arsenal's attack, led by Freddie Jungberg, Robert Perez, Thierry Henry, and Dennis Bergkamp during their unbeatable season was truly spectacular, becoming one of the best in Premier League history. Jungberg and Perez brought creativity from the wings, setting the stage for Henry's incredible goal scoring and Bergkamp's genius playmaking in the middle. This brilliant setup was a big part of Arsene Wenger's strategy, helping Arsenal accomplish their feat. Robert Perez, who joined in 2000, was the last piece of the puzzle for Arsenal. Coming from Marseille, he added extra flair and creativity on the left, meshing perfectly with Henri and Bergkamp. His knack for scoring and setting up goals made Arsenal's offence both unpredictable and dynamic, playing a huge part in their unbeaten run. Bergkamp was the brains of the operation, linking up play and creating chances with his amazing vision and skill. His combo with Henri was lethal. Bergkamp's clever passes and Henri's speed and finishing were a nightmare for defenders. Together, they made Arsenal's counter-attacks lightning fast, using the pace of Henri and the smart plays of Jungberg and Perez to score stunning goals. This attacking force was a big reason Arsenal was so dominant and thrilling to watch in the early 2000s. Arsenal's season without a loss famously called The Invincibles, stands out as a story filled with toughness, smart strategies, and unforgettable moments of football magic. It featured unforgettable games against big teams like Everton, Manchester United, and Chelsea, each adding a special story to this historic achievement. Kicking off the 2003-2004 season, Arsenal made a strong start by beating Everton 4-1, showing everyone they meant business. Exciting games such as the 5-3 win against Middlesbrough and the solid 3-0 win against Blackburn displayed Arsenal's ability to both score freely and keep things tight at the back. Tight games like the 2-2 draw with Bolton and scraping a 1-0 win over Manchester City proved Arsenal could also fight hard to get results. Their unbeaten streak included both high-scoring games like demolishing Charlton 4-0 and close battles, finishing with a 3-1 win over Aston Villa. Arsene Wenger's strategy balanced strong defense with quick counter-strikes, making the most of the team's speed and creativity. Wenger built a team that was not just talented but also mentally tough, capable of handling the stress of staying unbeaten through tough games and controversies. In the final stretch of the 2003-2004 Premier League, Arsenal's path to victory was packed with thrilling matches, important moments, and standout plays, ending in a memorable win. The battle for the top spot was intense, but under Arsene Wenger's clever management, Arsenal showed resilience and smart tactics. Their big matches against teams like Everton, Manchester United, and Chelsea highlighted Arsenal's strategic skills and ability to shine at crucial times, proving they were true champions. Thierry Henry was a key player in this season, amazing everyone with his goals and assists. His speed, skill, and intelligence made him a nightmare for defenders and a fan favorite. Henry didn't just score, he also set up his teammates, making him a legend in the league. Arsenal won the title in an unforgettable moment at Tottenham Hotspur's ground, White Hart Lane. On April 25th, 2004, a draw with Spurs was enough to secure the Premier League win, making it extra special to win at their biggest rival's home. The 2-2 tie kept Arsenal unbeaten and confirmed their championship at Tottenham's place, marking a historic moment in football. The debate around Arsenal's invincibles and their standing among the Premier League's elite sparks considerable discussion. When placed alongside formidable teams such as Manchester United's treble winners, Mourinho's Chelsea, and the Centurion Manchester City squad, the Invincibles unbeaten record distinguishes them. Yet, the conversation deepens when comparing metrics like points, goals, and defensive stats, adding layers to the debate. Detractors highlight moments of fortune, including debated penalties and squandered chances by adversaries, suggesting Arsenal sometimes chose the safety of a draw over the risk for additional victories to preserve their unbeaten status. This tactic, though successful for remaining undefeated, contrasts with teams that amassed more points or demonstrated greater season-long dominance despite losses. 
Further, the discourse extends to Premier League excellence's evolving criteria, with recent teams under Guardiola and Klopp redefining success metrics. This context broadens the narrative of footballing excellence, positioning the Invincibles' achievement as a significant yet singular chapter in the sport's history. Whether you believe Arsenal's Invincibles had the greatest Premier League season or not, their unbeaten legacy is undeniably remarkable. What's your take on it? Share your thoughts in the comments. And if you enjoyed this journey through football history, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Until next time, see ya on the pitch. Cheers!